and what interested me was that um, uh, my father was from Leitrim as well, which is where Seamus is from. And just the similarities in fathering style, even that phrase, you know, what kind of an Egypt are you? You know, I was very familiar with that phrase growing up. And how two men with very different backgrounds, you know, my dad left, um, well, he was schooled in Dublin, even though he's from Leitrim. And he came over here when he was 19. Seamus, his dad, stayed at home, had a very rural life, you know. And uh, But in terms of fathering, very similar styles. And I just wondered, just interested me, where where did that come from? You know, where, what informed their their parenting because my, my dad was brought up by an aunt a matriarchal aunt who didn't have any you know any children of her own or anything so he didn't really have any kind of family role models or anything like that and yet very similar parenting styles you know so but yeah so we've just been mates since really it's been great we did a lot of collaborating through covid did a few kind of uh Seamus did some sort of high quality video things you know then put those out like everyone was doing you know during the covid times and uh yeah just and we did some gigs we did some more gigs after that we did we played here actually we yeah, came over with fiona and the great senon brennan was with us that Fantastic. time as well so yeah and then covid hit fiona had a baby a few things have slowed us down you know uh, you're about to play a prayer for all couples live mm. what's that song about well <coughs> excuse me um well it's interesting it's just an unusual little tale really again it's Seamus' classic kind of, uh, um, he, he does nostalgia without sentimentality, which is which is great, you know, and uh, about rural Ireland. It's about being visited by the ghost of his dead father, really. Lots of father stuff going on. I'm kind of through my father stage, dead father stage now, you know. I think Seamus is as well. But, um, yeah, so it's kind of that, but it's just an unusual story. On the album, I actually used, because it's the thing that first, I first became aware of Seamus, aware of Seamus through um, I used the actual audio from the YouTube clip that I originally learnt it from on the album I just nicked it yeah. uh, but um, but yeah it's something that we started gigging in our own our own little set it's just one of those unusual little stories you know about about the sort of love and sentimentality that isn't always obvious between you know couples from our parents generation I guess Irish rural couples you know so here, a prayer for all couples, yeah? Yeah, indeed. My eyes open wide and me in the bed. It was four in the morning in August and I scratched at me head because the old lad was there and he's looking down with a stare and a sharpening stone and an oil can. Sections for a mowing arm and rivets and a hammer. Get up you, says he, and give me a hand. I'm gonna mow the bottom in Drimension this morning. This was out lying land. Says he, it's not dry, it's wet, but it's as dry as it'll be. You can take out the back and sweat, so come on, get up. I haven't long. Good enough, says I, and it's wet. I wear me Wellington so. Aye, and clothes, says he, or you'll catch that yoke in the mowing machine. It was the string of me pyjamas, you know. He never come into the room unless there was work to be done, when he was alive, but he's gone, 15 years now, dead. We buried him and all. He even said goodbye to me mother the day he died. Good luck, says he. I'm gone. A man of few words. He had every meadow mowed and won, bar one. This one, the bottom in Drimension. I left it a little too long, says he, but there's a bit of weather coming now, a little light wind and sun, and the frogs and the swallows are not carrying on. Aye, mannerly enough today for hay, so come on, get up. I haven't long. He never closed the door 
and he'd never, ever done that before, come into the room while he was dead. And I got up and I got out of the bed, but I never said that's strange. I must be dreaming. And I didn't go running around the house shouting and screaming, the old lad's alive, hallelujah. I did not, and that's for sure, because, well, the old lad, he could be a contrary whore when there was work to be done. So I got up, I got out of the bed, I went downstairs, I put on me Wellingtons, and the old lad's there, and he's combing his hair, and me mother's there too in the kitchen, making tea, and eggs, and porridge, and bread. He always ate well in the morning, my father, whether he was alive or dead. And I looked at me mother to see, was she pleased to be back, boiling eggs and providing meals? But she wasn't. She was the same as him when there was work to be done determined and robust and steadfastly strong but he lit up when she brought him his tea and so did she although nothing was said and he tore into his breakfast and his egg and his bread and then he looks at the clock and he looks at me and he looks at her and then says he go out and put on the mowing arm and fill a drum of diesel and get a rake and a fork and a vice grips and a grease gun and don't be long I'll be out in a minute when I finish me tea So I got up and I went out and I left them be. So I started the tractor and I put on the mowing arm and I gathered up tools for the day. I kept watching the house and the back door and the backyard where we used to play. And then the door opened softly but no one came through. And then I heard radio airing from back in the day and the house filled with music. An old Waylon Jennings tune played. And that wasn't right at quarter past four in the morning and work to be done. So I ran to the house and I peeped in the door in case something was wrong. But it wasn't. But then I saw something that I hadn't seen before. The two of them dancing around on the floor and carrying on and radio air and playing their song. And I didn't like watching. So I went back to bed. Says I, that man's no interest in mowing. This is all in me head. And I took off me Wellingtons. And I fell into a trance. I said a prayer that night for all couples. Living and dead. All couples. Living and dead. That they too might dance. Oh. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. John, John, that that turns out to be a very sweet song.